Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. Welcome back to another Sea of Thieves guide video for the Monkey Island Tall Tales. In this video, we're going to focus on the Tall Tale number two. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to head to the Capsized Charters tent that can be found in each of the outposts within Sea of Thieves, and you're going to vote on the second book. Now, with this video, what I'm going to do, because this tall tale can be really confusing, all throughout the video, I'm going to have chapters and key parts for you to kind of check out and see if you get lost or confused if you're trying to do this on your own, or if you want to follow step by step, you can follow all the way through. There's a lot in this tall tale. It's one of their long longer tall tales i think it's one of their longest tall tales see if this is ever made so it can get really confusing so because of that i just wanted to let the tall tale play out so you can kind of see where i went how i got to where i went and where all the locations are for things like the memoirs and the journals and kind of everything in between now with that being said at a certain point the pirate lord is going to show up and he is going to open the portal you're going to head over to your ship to raise your the anchor drop the sails and head through the portal once through the portal you're going to end up in the sea of the damned and at a certain point La chuck himself is going to show up and reveal himself there's going to be some fun dialogue uh right here you'll see one of the guys show up on your boat and La chuck will show up too and kind of Kind of share his plan with you as all great villains do. <clears throat> um, hello. Excuse me. So sorry to bother you, but the captain would like a word. Well now, look who's back to meddle in my affairs. Ye must be even more stupid than you look. Now that you finally arrived at Melee Island, there is going to be a lot that you got to do. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to head to the potion shop or mojo shop from Tall Tale 1, and she is going to give you your next step. Fate has brought us back together. I regret I could not summon you sooner, but things work differently in the Sea of the Damned. It took some time to devise a brew. After talking with Krina, you're going to head out of her shop and go down the street. You're going to head back to the scum bar. And there is going to be accommodation here that you're going to want to pick up, which is the gainful unemployment. So you're going to head into the scum bar and go talk to our old friend, the chef. Not so fast. I don't know where you've been, and I really don't care. But if you think you can just waltz back into my kitchen, you can think again. You turn up late for work, you don't wash your hands, you use up all my best ingredients. Worst of all, you feed my prime steak to a bunch of mangy mutts. And if there's one thing I can't stand, it's people who are kind to hungry animals. You're fired! Thank <laughs> you. 
after getting fired from your job for obvious reasons, you're going to head over to the pirate, uh, the pirate leaders right here, and you're going to get the uh, the next part for your tall tale. The legend of Monkey Island doesn't waste his time with pirate wannabes. Once completed, you got to go back to the potion shop. So head out of the scum bar, go back up the street, and go talk to Corinna. Do you bring news? You are undertaking the three trials? Excellent. Then you'll be needing this list. I have foreseen much that will aid you in the trials. Even in his slumber, Guybrush will be able to assist you. Now that you have the next part, what you got to do is you have to get three items. You got to get the chicken, the sword, and a treasure map. It's actually pretty easy to do. So what we're going to do first is we are going to go to the mansion. Once inside the mansion, we're going to head up the stairs and we are going to find Guybrush sleeping exactly where we left him in the first tall tale. Now, what we're going to try to do is get his good name on a piece of paper, a credit that we can use to buy some things from the store. So first thing is we're going to pickpocket Guybrush. Once we got that guy's key, we're going to head over to the chest here and grab some ink. We're going to take this ink and put it on the table. After we've done that, now we need something to write with. Well, you just got to head down the stairs to the left and you'll grab the quill. Now that we have the quill, we're going to head back up the stairs and put it on his desk. Okay, now here is where we need something to write with. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to the store and get the store shop owner to give us a bill of, or not a bill, but like a paper for credit. And we're going to take that paper back to Guybrush and forge his signature. there fancy pants welcome back fancy pants i hope you brought more not unless you've got something real valuable but i do have a few spare notes of credit lying around if you can get one signed by someone in good standing Now that we have the credit note, we're going to place it on the desk and then forge the signature. Now that we have this forged signature and this credit note, we're going to take it back to the shopkeeper where we're going to pick up the sword and we're going to grab the chicken to zip line.
Well, I'll be. You actually got it signed. That'll do nicely, a store credit. <laughs> now take your time and look around. I'm open all hours. Now, the next thing that we need, or the last piece, we need the treasure map. Now, you can find the treasure map over here from our good old citizen of Melee Island. If you do talk to him, basically what you'll find out is that he's willing to trade uh, a treasure map that can be found in the mansion with, uh, with the one that he has. So, that's what we're going to end up doing. So, yes, we're going to head back to the mansion. Now that we're in the mansion, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bookcases and we're going to just pull books out and we're going to examine them. And eventually what will happen is one of the books will say drop book and that book will fall. And then the the parchment and the treasure or whatever the whatever he's looking for, you'll get and you'll be able to make that trade for the treasure map that this citizen of Melee Island has. Now that we have the the document, the C chart, we're going to take this map and go trade it for our treasure map, which will be the third piece that we need to give to Corinna so that we can get the potion so that we can clear the uh, the mist around Melee Island. Gold's no good to me. If you a trade, uh, maybe I could be the shelves in that old mansion. That's a map to the legend. Is that one of the governor's famous sea charts? Okay, you got a deal. The treasure map is yours. <laughs> Nobody else wanted it anyway. Once you've completed that, you have all the three items that you need. Go talk to Krina. She is going to give you a potion that you're going to have to take Return all the way up to the right. lookout point, which is probably one of the longest walks in the game. And you're going to have to throw that into the fire. I have one last gift to bestow. I have used the last of your root beer, along with many other strange and dangerous ingredients, to brew a magnificent mojo potion of unrivaled potency. Now it is time to dispel the mist that cloaks us from those in your world. Take my potion to the island lookout and pour it into the fire. Set Mele Island free.
now that we've made it up to the top of lookout point we're going to go over to the fire and pour it in there what happens what? next is actually what pretty cool do? so kind of look around and enjoy the experience i kind of capture some of that for you right here Now the three trials begin. So this is going to be a lot of running around uh, this huge map. And there's going to be a lot of back and forth. I'm going to try to optimize it the best that I can. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to head down this way and pick up what I'm classifying as journal number one. The first journal can be found down this ladder uh, on some boxes right down here. So just kind of look for it right here. Have you ever... Guy, bro. After grabbing the first journal, we're going to go back up the ladder and turn to the right, and we're going to go to this zip line. We're going to use the zip line to ride that bad boy all the way down to the path, and we're going to go grab journal number two. The second journal can be kind of hard to see. It's actually back near the mansion. If you notice in Telltale 1, the ro there's rocks there. Well, now the rocks are clear. So That's upon the path, kind of looking back into the main melee island, it'll be right here on your right side. Now that we have journal number one and journal number two, we are going to go to the circus. Now, the circus is the first step that we have to do uh, upon the three trials. This will give us uh, some things that we need to kind of push the other trials forward. There's two memoirs here, a commendation that we have to do to get this uh, trial at the circus done under 25 seconds uh, and some other stuff that we need. So you're going to head this way and the first memoir is going to be right here. I love visiting the circus, but after, after sitting down, you just need to sit down for a second. You can listen to the whole dialogue. You'll pick it up. And we're going to head to the circus tent. We're going to enter the tent and go talk to our circus friends. I believe what I'm hearing. You are so irresponsible. Me? You're the one who insisted upon audience participation. People only take part if there's a big, flashy prize. Now, after listening to them talk for a while, you're going to understand that what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to do this trial. They're going to want you to wear a costume, so you're going to talk to Bill. Talk to Bill to get the costume, and then you're going to talk to his brother after you put the costume on, and he's going to tell you what you need to do. So, oh, 
know what you say. Ready is the latest we take a volunteer. It may not make. Once you're after that, then you hit the ground, dummy. We don't expect you to succeed. Now, before you go through the trial, you're going to want to make sure that the cannon is lined up for you. So just kind of take a practice shot here and kind of aim it until you land into the water and you're good to go. Once here, start here, ring the bell and get it done with under 25 seconds. You're going to run up this ladder. Run across this ladder bridge thing. Ring the bell here. Jump here. Then here and ring the bell. Jump over here, grab the zip line, go all the way down, jump into the cannon, and shoot through the rings of fire. You'll know you'll get you, you'll know you got it completed because this will show up. And there you go. Under 25 seconds. Now this is something worth checking in the menu, but you can also see it right here on the board. Make sure you got it under 25 seconds for that commendation. Now, after some dialogue here, they're going to now, basically see, only I give you 406 pieces, pieces of eight. And that's fine. That's all you need, obviously, uh, for the tall tale. To the administration fees. So eventually the dialogue will finish. You'll get your money. And again, th all throughout this, just make sure things are tracking and things are getting done. Now, before we leave the tent, I want to show you where another uh, memoir location is is so come over here right here take a seat and you'll get another one at the circus now after this we are going to head to the next spot so we're going to leave the circus tent and go find the next journal The next journal you can find right here on this broken wagon. Now, when I was doing my recording, I actually oh, forgot that there's a memoir location right here as well. So I'm going to put it in right here so you can get the video of where that is. It's right over here on the barrel. You're going to take a seat a uh, and here? you got that one. Now, after getting the memoir and the journal, you're going to head back up the hill and you're going to go to the forest. Now, the forest is the first trial. The forest is going to be like the treasure map trial. So I'm going to show you kind of where to get that. Now, there is a journal in the forest and another memoir uh, location there as well. Now the forest can get a little bit confusing, but I will show you exactly where you need to go. So you're gonna enter the forest uh, right there at the entrance. You're gonna turn right at the very first right that you see. You're gonna walk all the way through across this log. Once you're across the log, you're gonna take your first left turn. Until you get to a campsite. At the campsite, you're going to go to the left here, following Guy Brush's uh, ghostly figure, and you're going to go over another log. Now, all of this is in the journal, so if you want to know how I did this, obviously, it's right there in the journal that you get for the Tall Tale, but I'm just kind of showing you exactly where you need to go. Once you cross over, you're going to go through the trees right here. See his, uh, see Guy Brush's ghost again, Go through these trees and then you'll be on the next memoir location which you can find right here now as you can see that's where you need to dig so we're going to dig there in a second but there's a couple things that we're going to do first first we're going to sit down so we don't forget 
this memoir location. This is the exact spot. Now that we have that memoir location done, we're going to go over to where Guybrush, the ghost of Guybrush was digging, and we're going to dig up the chest. Now, this is going to give us uh, the next steps that we need to do, and there's going to be three parts to it. So it's going to take us all across Melee Island. Um, it's going to... <laughs> It's going to be a long one, but hang with me. I'll show you exactly where you need to go to kind of make it go as quickly as possible. Now, before you leave the forest, we're actually going to go left here and we're going to grab a journal. This will be journal number four. Once we grab this journal, we are going to head out of the forest and probably the fastest way at this point is to just jump into the water and swim out. Now that we have left the forest, we are going to go complete our first trial. So this is going to be the do the legendary monkey. We're going to follow the clues. The first spot is going to where we're going to start is right there. As you can see, we're going to run this way past the light post. We're going to see a fallen, I think, scarecrow or something here on the left. The daggers are going to point the way where we need to go. We're going to run this way and we're going to see these trees. Now, these trees, we got to go through, run down the path, and we are going to find the first, uh, well, not the first dig, but another dig spot right here, uh, kind of where the fishing pole is aiming. Now that we got the next part, we are going to look this up on our little journal and I'm just going to show you where you need to go. So we're just going to run back up the path and run down a little bit further. After all of that running, eventually you will get to this tree where there is a heart carved into it. We're going to grab our shovel and dig the next chest. Now we are on the final part uh, for this first trial, and we have to basically run all the way back to where we started. So we're going to head this way, and we're going to go over a zip line and kind of go to where Stan the salesman is.
Once we've lowered the drawbridge, we're going to run across. And as soon as you run across to the right is going to be a break in the caves. We're going to see a light. You're going to head that way. And this is where you're going to dig up finally the treasure for the first trial. Now, you will get a checkpoint after handing uh corinna the uh the object which is great which means if you do have to jump out at this point in the tall tale you can at least start on the next part Legendary treasure huntery. Why, it's even more spectacular than I believed. And it will make a fine ingredient for a most exquisite elixir. Also, you have yet to conquer the legendary trial of thievery. A precious idol now lies in the hands of a devious trickster who must be outwitted before it can be claimed. Do not be discouraged by the legendary trial of the sword. Out in the forest, someone waits to guide your blade on its path to glory. Now that that part is done, we are going to head back to Stan's kind of shop for used vessels, and we are going to start the next part, which is the Trial of Thievery. Now, like I said, you do have a checkpoint here, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, so if you do need to jump out, you can kind of pick back up to where you were. Now, there is a memoir location here, so I'm going to kind of show you that location, and that is right up here uh, before you talk to Stan. This is where I purchased my first Now for this next part, you're going to need to get to need to get Stan to go Howdy. to four Stan, separate Stan, ships right to get him to talk to you about those ships. Uh, but here. what I found out I is it, it was way more helpful to grab a grog and kind of drink treasure. my grog because well, Stan talks a lot. Uh, also this is a combination, so you need to do this for a combination, but this is some of the strongest grog I've ever seen. Grab some and Stan is just going to talk a, a lot over the next little bit so a, a big ship a luxury ship a ship with just a splash of je ne sais quoi trust me i want now that you are as drunk as a skunk on grog you're going to head over to the rowboat and talk to stanner like on the sign it's going to give you a prompt to have stan come over and kind of pitch you this boat uh, so that's the first one. The second one is going to be this first galleon here. So the next sign's right here. And then after this one, you're going to go to the Black Pearl and get him to talk to you about the Black Pearl. And then after that is the final ship, which is that ghost ship that you can see in the background there. So you're just going to go to that one and get him to talk to you. Now, the reason you have to do that is because he has to do all of those dialogues before he'll finally give you this I next option, this next chat right. dialogue our right here. And this is how you continue this best. trial. We can After talking with him, you'll discover Sorry, that he sold right, the right, ship he that you that need, that someone... Listen, and he's going to tell you who you has it, and he's going to trade you the bill of sale um, for whatever you need. So after talking with Stan, after figuring out all of that information, you have to go run over uh to the uh the next part which i forget the uh, the name of the hook island i think is the name of this island um so it is quite far there's a lot of running in this tall tale so we're gonna run this way we're gonna go over the zip line there's another zip line and not only is there some memoir locations here but there is also uh the tickle the beast kind of challenge that you have to do as well so i want to show you where all of that stuff is
There's another memoir location right here. So make sure to sit down here and get that. Hook Island, home to and jump over on the zip line. So basically what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to capture the beast. So you're going to knock on the door. He's going to uh, tell you what you need to do. So you're going to talk to this, uh, this scurvy dog and he's going to tell you like, hey, I'm out. I bought the ship to leave. But if you can capture the beast, I'll give you the ship uh, bill of sale for the headless monkey. So you do need to talk to him a little bit to get those prompts. Uh, and then eventually he'll tell you uh, what he's willing to do to trade. I already told you we're closed. Sorry, but you, even if you could, well, you're okay. Let's do it. First things first. We need to fix up that cage. Now that that is done, we are going to need to fix the cage. So we're going to head out of the house, right over here, grab ourselves some wood. And we're going to head back inside and uh, fix the cage by pulling the swords out and then repairing it. that shuts the door is broken we'll need some kind of hand now for the lever we're going to run into the woods out uh outside of the house here and we're going to grab something from a special tree that you'll find right here Okay, listen up. These next now that we've placed the handle in the lever there, all of that is repaired. Now we got to find me. some concentrated, concentrated banana, banana grease. grease. It has to be the so we're just going to look around the house here until Not we find bad. it. There's a couple places that you'll get a prompt of, like, you know, whether you can open something or not. So I think I found it here the first time, uh, but in this run through, I found it right here. After giving this to him, you're going to need a shanty to kind of calm the beast down. And for that, you're going to head upstairs in the house and look under the pillow. Bossing you around has given me an appetite. All that's left now is to capture the beast. Its lair is in a cave near here. But you'll be torn apart if you go in unprepared. Lucky for you, there's a shanty that helps to quell its murderous rage. I have the tune written down uh, somewhere. Now that we have the shanty, we're going to head this way up the path to the beast, and we're going to soothe it with a little bit of wonderful, amazing music. Thank you. 
after we've tamed the beast, make sure to pick it up and pet it. Make sure to pet it until you get the accommodation. I don't know why it's not instant. Uh, it could be instant, but I didn't get the prompt right away. So I just kept making sure that I was petting the bird until I got the prompt. And I finally got it right here. Now that that is done, we're going to head back into the house, place the bird into the cage that we made, close the cage with the lever, and he is going to give us the bill of sale for the headless monkey ship. I don't believe it. You have the guts, the courage. The sheer audacity to face down the beast in its lair and wrestle it back into captivity! And you're still alive! Now I can rebuild my shattered dreams and make this place the tourist trap it was always destined to be! Here, take my bill of sale. I don't need a ship anymore. I'm staying right here on Hook Island to guard the beast! and rake in the silver now before we leave this house i want to show you that there is a memoir location on the inside of the house so make sure to go sit down on that so you pick that up now that we have that we're going to head out of the house and go back across the zip line all the way back to stan Now, we're going to get the last journal right here. You can find it on the barrels. Pick this journal up. Despite and at this stage, if you've been following the walkthrough, you will have the all the journals found and located right here. Now, there is going to be a little bit that we have to do here. We're going to try to steal this special thing uh, or the the uh, treasure if from hurry, Stan. And to do that, we got to present him well, the bill of sale. Now, what he's going to do is he's going to show us a bunch of these uh, obsidian <laughs> cannons. Show. It's quite it's cruel. You can't buy them. Uh, but anyways, after some dialogue there, eventually he's going to show That's you this cupboard. Uh, he's going to sure. get a prompt here to kind of get him to go inside of it. And once he goes inside of it, you're going to lock him in. Now, the reason you're doing this is to kind of get the key to get the treasure, but there is accommodation here that you're going to want to do. You're going to want to push Stan into the water, and you have to do this right now. If you get the key and kind of do all the next little bit, it will be too late. So make sure as soon as you lock him in to the cupboard, you're going to push him all the way in and keep pushing until he you get the accommodation. It's so warm and cozy, I almost don't want to leave. But if I stay in here, who's going to sell you this cupboard? Uh-oh, looks like we've run into a little technical issue. Nothing I can't handle, just give me a second. that loud splashing sound why can i smell salt water and why do i feel seasick hey this thing actually makes for a pretty good ship now that that is done we are going to go grab his key get into his office and open his safe to do that we are going to come over to the board here and pick up the key once we have the key we're going to open the door and we're going to read his book to get the the safe uh number what we need to do to open up the safe so uh, open up the door, 
right here on the left, you'll find the book, pick up the book and read it. And on the very last page, it'll tell you uh, the combination. Once you have the combination, go to the safe and just put it in. And there you go. We have completed the trial of thievery. So pick up this stinking thing, the idol of many hands, and uh, there's going to be a portal that appears, and you're going to give it to Rina. Methods. You have claimed the idol of many hands from its hiding spot. I shall use it to pep the potency of my potion. Do not be discouraged by the legendary trial of the sword. Out in the forest, someone waits to guide your blade on its path to glory. Now that that is done, we are going to head to the final trial the sword fighting trial or the insult sword fighting or whatever it's called we're gonna head up this way to the trainer now this is a little confusing this like insult fighting so i'm going to try to explain it here in a second but before i do there is some memoir locations i want to point out so the first one's going to be right here grab this on the outside and the next one is the on the inside the of uh, uh inside of the house so once that's done you're going to need to make sure that you have guy brushes uh sword equipped and you're going to knock on the door what in the world disturbing me at this time of night i want to show a little respect where did i put this oh there it is What do you want? Well, yeah, well, you heard. Who do you think cut down the... Because I thought... Now, let me guess. <laughs> Listen, but business has been... You do, huh? If that is... That's what I wanted to see. A blade fit for the legend of Monkey Island. I guess you can come inside. This is where I began my journey to challenge the Swordmaster. I remember the day Guybrush Threepwood came knocking on my door. Just like you did. While we were fighting, I were to suddenly say, My sword play will amaze you. That wasn't a retort. When I say, My sword play will amaze you, you should come back at me with something like, Yeah, I'm amazed you've lasted this long. Be ready to block my attacks. Let's try another. My deeds are spoken of worldwide. No, no, try something more like... Well, everyone loves a good joke. Time to protect yourself. Let's try another. My sword play will amaze you. Come at me again. That's more like it. Now, try insulting me. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. You 
You've learned everything I can teach you. All you can do now is get out there and learn as many insults as you can. Here's a map with locations that are popular among sword fighters. Go and pick some fights. When you're ready to challenge the sword master, you'll know it. As for me, I should probably fix up the machine. It's been a long time since it's taken such a beating. Now go on, get out of here. Now that that is all done, this next part is going to take a long time. It's There's no other way around it. You're going to have to rerun around the whole entire island finding opponents. And what they're going to do is they're going to teach you new insults and retorts toward uh, for those insults until eventually you have them all unlocked. And once you have them all unlocked, you're going to be ready to fight the sword master. So I'm just going to let this play in its entirety so you can see how I did. I'm going to show you all the locations. You can kind of fast forward uh, to each location. We're kind of confused, but each location kind of has this like hedge of bushes and Murray is going to be there. You're going to talk to Murray and you're going to say how I'm ready to fight. And then you're going to kind of proceed along this idea of uh, insult sword fighting. Now, I'm going to try my best to explain it. So if you get a little confused here, that's totally okay. It's kind of confusing. But uh, essentially what's going to happen is this guy is going to appear and he's going to insult you. Now, you're going to try to do a retort to, uh, you know, throw the insult back in his face. But what you'll need to do is you'll need to start listening to um to the the things that people are saying because what will happen is he'll insult you you won't be able to give a good retort and then uh you you'll you'll get hurt but now you know that insult so if given the opportunity to use that insult uh which is marked like a new insult or a new retort is marked with a, a yellow circle uh if you have the opportunity to use new insult, make sure to use that on these uh, these pirates for training, because what that'll do is you'll then hear the retort that works for that insult, if that makes sense. So as you can see here, I don't have a good uh, retort for that insult. Is that the best you can do? And so there's just a, a lot of sword fighting. So it's going to take some time, but I'm literally just going to let this play out. I tried my best to explain it. It is confusing. But again, what it it's trying to do is each time the guy, the guys that you fight, they'll insult you. You learn that insult. And then uh, if given the opportunity to use that new insult that you learned, what you'll hear is they will then tell you the retort or that insult so then you can use that against other people in the future so as you can see here i knew that one uh from the sword trainer there was a retort that we had already and that's the basics of insult sword fighting so yeah i'm just gonna let this play you can kind of watch it so you understand what you have to do or if you want you can skip to the next part this is insult sword fighting you know It's about time you got one. Pull yourself together. No one has faced me and lived. One more and you're finished. I see an opening. Yeah, there's no sport in fighting you. Come find me when you're ready to try again.
Did you come here to talk or did you... Time for another fight. Remember, be fearless, be relentless, and be insulting. Prepare to be humiliated! I came here to be insulted! With breath that bad, I'm not surprised. That was just confusing. I'm the greatest fighter on the seas. <laughs> that was just confusing. Play will amaze you. This is your last chance. Now that was insulting. Uh, I don't know what to say. Stop messing about and taunt me. It's about time you got one. This has gone on long enough. You need some better insults. Did you come here to talk, or did you come here to fight? Here comes another battle. The hurtful remarks, the soul-crushing observations, they sustain me! <laughs> Even offensive. No one has faced me and lived. Now you're getting it. about and taunt me! Too bad you met me on dry land! <laughs> I don't get it. My sword play will amaze you! If they hit you again, it's all over. <laughs> I... I don't know what to say! <laughs> this is insult sword fighting, you know! This could be a victory!
Well, everyone loves a good joke. Come back when you've learned the rules. I guess we're about done here. Did you come here to talk or did you come here to fight? When you get a chance to use an insult of your own, try it out against your opponent. And if you were to borrow that comeback. Time for another fight. Remember, be fearless, be relentless, and be insulting. Think you could beat me? Let's find out. Couldn't have said it better myself. I wasn't ready! Scraping you off mine shortly. This is getting embarrassing. No one has ever beaten me in combat. when you've learned the rules. Looks like you could use some more training. Did you come here to talk or did you come here to fight? I smell another sword fight. Let's see how cruel you can be. <laughs> You'll 
will rue the day we cross paths. Ain't you got something to say? Oh, so this is your first time. Try harder. I've met pigs that are scarier than you. I see an opening. That's pathetic. Try harder. My deeds are spoken of worldwide. If they hit you again, it's all over. That's more like it. I... I don't know what to say. Stop messing about and taunt me. Oh, glad to hear you stay in touch with your parents. I don't have time to duel with amateurs! Better luck next time. <laughs> Here comes another battle. The hurtful remarks, the soul-crushing observations, they sustain me! <laughs> Think you can beat me? Let's find out. I'll wipe the floor with you. You're no match for me. That was just confusing. My deeds are spoken of worldwide.
That was truly devastating. I loved it. That was so cruel. I came here to be insulted. I hope you're better at cleaning than you are at fighting. Pull yourself together. Need to catch your breath. You can't take another hit. You're no match for me. <sighs> There's no sport fighting you. Looks like you could use some more training. Did you come here to talk or did you- I smell another sword fight. Let's see how cruel you can be. <laughs> You got something to say? That's not true. I bet there's more where that came from. That was a low blow. You won't win without a good insult. Don't stop now. Finish them all. That's not true. Ooh, that would have to sting. They got me. I've seen enough. You might just be ready to face the Swordmaster without being totally annihilated. Her location is a closely guarded secret, but I stole some instructions that should help you find her. Try and ignore the bite marks. Now go, challenge the Swordmaster, and bring them to their knees with a relentless barrage of your most merciless insults! <laughs> Now that that is completed, we are going to head back to the forest entrance because that is where we are going to go to our final battle and our last memoir location.
now that we are here we know that we need to cross that bridge that was broken earlier so we are going to head back into the forest and just like before we're going to go take a right cross the log bridge we're going to take the first left past the campfire take a left here go straight across this log and right here we are going to turn to the right this is where one of the journals was we were here earlier but now we know how to kind of fix the bridge. So we're going to walk right over here. Click that prompt and it'll fix the bridge. And now we are going to go have our final insult sword fighting. But before we do, there's a memoir location right here on this rock. I remember you still owe me a new hat. Home of Carla the Sword. Now you should have this combination completed at this point if you've been following the guide completely. Now the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go find uh we're gonna go fight this boss using all the insults and the retorts that we have learned. Now the retorts aren't going to be exact, uh, is what I discovered. So you kind of have to guess on what the best retort would be uh to whatever they say. So I got it wrong a few times. Um I almost actually died and lost. I didn't have any food on me, but I did end up winning, which is great, and it did get me the ability to complete this. Looking at you, that's my sense of decency. Even before they smell your breath. Time to teach you a lesson. I've met useless wretches like you before. Time to teach you a lesson. Going swimmingly. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. Hey, that nothing really stinks. People tremble whenever I speak. Send LeChuck a message. Don't mess with the legend of Monkey Island or his friends. Well, this sure wasn't how I expected things to go. But now you can tell the pirate leaders you fought with the Swordmaster. Nobody ever said it had to be on different sides. And this medallion will be your proof. If you're trying to complete the three trials, you'll need it. 
It seems LeChuck suspects something of our plans, but he'll not prevent us from creating a truly magnificent mixture, and Carla's medallion will play its part. Now that that is completed, you're going to head out of the forest and I'm going to show you how to get back to the potion shop from this side of the map. Uh, you saw it a little bit earlier, but we're going to run this way towards the mansion. Now that the rocks are cleared, we're going to run all the way through and uh, go to the potion shop. From a trial of discovery, a path home is revealed. From a trial of deceit, truth no longer concealed. From a trial of the sword, new strength shall now impart. The fog that clouds the mind flees from the courage of the heart. It is time. Return to the governor's mansion and confront Guybrush. Together, we shall expose the legend of Monkey Island as nothing more than the tall tales of a would-be pirate lord. Now that we have this elixir, we are going to take this back to Guybrush at the mansion. And remember what I said at the very beginning of this tutorial or this, uh, this guide video. There is a lot of running in this tall tale. It's one of the longest tall tales that Sea of Thieves has made. Uh, part of that, I think, is due to all the running. So, yeah, we're going to run back to the mansion here, give this potion to Guybrush. What's with all the commotion? I'm never going to be able to finish my memoirs when everything's so noisy. Hey, I remember you, but the guards told me you'd left town. It has been a long time, Guybrush Threepwood. Far longer than you know. Perhaps you would do me the honor of joining us in a toast. For old time's sake. Well, I guess a little refreshment couldn't hurt. What's in the bottle? My own recipe. Brewed for the legend of Monkey Island. Well, I'll drink to that. Cheers! Ugh, tastes like breath mints mixed with cat sweat. I think I'll stick to grog. Oh, what's in this stuff? The truth. Oh yeah? Uh, because I think the truth is gonna make me... Now that we have completed that, uh, we are going to head out of town. Oh, There's the... some dialogue here, which is pretty great. Uh, you uh, do want to make sure that you head back to your ship, though, because if Wait, you don't do that, uh, it's not completed. Oh, and you'll know you completed it because you'll get your accommodations then... for it. Uh, and you'll Everybody unlock everything there, for this tall tale. So uh, I'm going to just kind of let this play like out so you can wanted. see how it goes. But none of it was real. Uh, I've been such an idiot we all have dreams guybrush sometimes the hard part is knowing that you have to wake up wake up uh, elaine
If LeChuck thinks I'm still stuck in his fantasy world, he won't be expecting me to hunt him down. I'm gonna gather my things, find myself a ship, and rescue Elaine before it's too late. Your plan is bold, but the Sea of the Damned is vast. LeChuck's vessel could be anywhere. Now, if LeChuck's using memories of our past for his evil schemes, there's only one place he'll be hiding. Somewhere I still know how to reach. It's time I went back to Monkey Island! I know you came here to save me, but I can't leave just yet. Listen, you fought off LeChuck's crew. You completed the three trials. I could really use your help. Now that the curse is broken, the people of Melee will no longer see Guybrush as the legend of Monkey Island. He'll need to make amends before he can depart. Return to the waters you call home. When Guybrush is ready to begin his journey, I shall make certain you are at his side. This place may not be the... Yeah, I'd say most folks in the Caribbean think of it as being... a myth, I suppose. When the Pirate Lord sent us a personal invitation, there was... Nah, I can't really say for sure. She's still out there... St she did? Yikes. Uh, no, but if I... Yeah, I'm doomed. Okay, explain this to me again. There's a legend of Monkey Island. That's right, I, I think. And the legend? It's this Gabros guy? Seriously? Now that you mention it... And there you go. You should have everything completed. You'll get confirmation right here. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hopefully, you guys found this video helpful. Uh, it did take me a little bit while. Uh, to, it did take me a little while to make it, but uh, the reason I made the video this way is I've made previous Tall Tale videos, like for Pirates Life, and one of the feedback points that I always got was, "Please show exactly how you got to where you were." So that's kind of why it's longer. I just wanted to show you exactly how. I got to where I was because it could get a little confusing. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys like that and enjoy the video. And if you would like to, and you've been all the way through here to the end, make sure to hit that uh, like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. That would help me a lot. And we'll see you guys on the next one.